Good evening and welcome to the channel's studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. More than 2,000 people are dead and many more injured after a huge earthquake struck southeastern Turkey near the Syrian border. A second 7.5 magnitude tremor hit at around 1.30 local time, causing further damage. <laughs> Here, an emergency worker speaking to people under the debris in Malatya. Rescue operations are ongoing to reach those trapped. Here, a man pulled away from the rubble. Even when the quakes have stopped, there's still great danger. Here, a building collapsing in Sanliafa province. Drone footage showing rescuers in the city of Adana. The first 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck in the early hours of Monday while people were asleep, and dozens of aftershocks have been felt in the hours since. Turkey has declared a state of emergency. The EU says more than 10 search and rescue teams from member states have been mobilized to help with the rescue effort. These are Bulgaria, Croatia, Czechia, France, Greece, the Netherlands, Poland and uh, Romania to, first, to support the first responders on the ground and in addition to that Hungary, Italy, uh, Spain, Malta and Slovakia have also offered their assistance. The Chinese government has admitted a balloon spotted over Latin America is from China but claimed it is intended for civilian use. A similar balloon was shot down in US airspace by military jets on Saturday amid allegations that it was being used for surveillance. China has denied accusations of spying, saying it was monitoring the weather. The incident has led to a diplomatic row between Washington and Beijing. What do we want? Fair pay! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Fair pay! When do we want it? Now! Health workers in Britain have begun their largest strike as tens of thousands of nurses and ambulance workers walked out in an escalating pay dispute. Nurses and ambulance workers have been striking separately on and off since late last year. But Monday's walkout involves both, largely in England, and is the biggest strike in the 75-year history of the NHS. Health workers are demanding a pay rise that reflects the worst inflation in Britain in four decades. Nurses are notoriously bad at standing up for themselves, and I think it's just driven to crunch point, really. straw that broke, broke the camel's back at this point. Just listen. Um, they're still not listening. They're still saying, you know, the NHS doesn't have the money to pay. Of course the NHS doesn't have the money. That's why we're here. We're here for everyone. Um, the government needs to listen and discuss um, pay um, rather than just saying the NHS doesn't have money. And illuminated bridges, buildings and light art scattered around the city will light up the Danish capital for the next three weeks. February is one of the darkest months of the year, but the 23-day light festival, which started at the weekend, will bring Copenhagen some much-needed light. This is the sixth year the festival is taking place, and more than 35 light installations will be seen around Copenhagen, mostly concentrated in the city centre. I think the light festival is, is really nice to have, you know, a stroll around the city at the evening. Um, I mean, during the day, Copenhagen is already wonderful, and during the evening, the light festival really lights up the city, and that's why, what I love about it. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel's studios in Lagos.